Good day, welcome to Vaughn TV. I'm Michael G. Bonitadeva. Season two, we continue and we're going green. And right now, one of our leading suppliers, Turolite, is here with us. Dave, welcome. Thanks for having us. Ed, welcome. Nice to meet you, nice to see you, see you all. Guys, a little quick thing about Turolite, just for people that aren't familiar with about Turolite. Yeah, just, just in, in, in a quick way, Turolite has been introduced almost a decade ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we were one of the first ones to bring the mini spiral bulb. In mini spiral, right there. And to fast forward, Got in it. the last 10 years, we were bringing easy to replace plug and play technologies, which are usually ahead of their time. And that was the goal of Turolite, always bring something that even the big companies out there don't have. Yeah. That's going to be I noticed the big companies are a little sluggish. They're, they're big. They're yeah, I don't want to mention any names, but yeah, they're, they're you know, big, we have a, you know, a couple of your lines that we've had for a couple of years now, and now only the big guys are finally starting to come up with something equivalent to it. Correct. Right? Which, so, which is good for, for our, our yeah. cause. I mean, that's, We're always striving to bring the next and latest and greatest technology, energy efficient technology to the marketplace. Mm -hmm. so. I just out of curiosity, how many people are at Toro Lake? There's currently 16 full-time employees in the office, times, yeah. and we have three agents countrywide that are supporting some major territories. I mean, it is Canada, so we have only three major areas, unlike yeah. the United States, but that is Turlite in a nutshell. Um, one quick thing, so uh, you see these at the big box stores. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, what's the difference between yours and the ones at the big box stores? Well, six, seven years ago, nobody had that mm -hmm. in the big box stores. Today, the, the only difference we have is experience. Mm -hmm. So now this is, technically an arcade bulb, and, and I think within the next year, you won't see this neither from us or the big box. So they're slowly getting rid of these. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. hot cathode bulbs in a dimmable format, especially, they are not designed to be dimmed. Mm. So to make it dim, you have to artificially, you know, fl flicker the filaments, therefore creating a very short life, very big shell, I mean, compared to normal CFL. So basically you're driving the dimmer crazy. Oh, the dimmer and the lamp and the circuitry. Yeah. And instead of getting 18,000 hours or 40,000 hours like LED life, you're getting 6,000 hours to 8,000 hours. And if you dim it below 50%, you might even get half of that. Yeah. So today you're looking at it and it looks like an old... Uh, so we're killing these as of today. These are pretty much obsolete. Correct. Now, what's replacing this? People are going to go, okay, Mike, where do, what do I buy? Well, the next one replacing it, Dave, I think it's right next to you there. This is a cold cathode complex. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the next generation of uh, hot cathode dimming products. Okay, so this is a CFL yes. hot cathode. Correct. Okay, and this is a CFL as well. Cold cathode. Cold cathode. Yeah, right. Just explain the difference between hot and cold again. Uh, it's just the, the way that the gas is excited and the way the cathode operates to excite the gas to emit the light. But basically, what you're able to achieve with this type of cathode is longer life, uh, less wattage, and you're able to use it in a much larger variety of applications. And why is this dim so easy? Because Ed said this goes crazy when you yeah, try to dim yeah. this. Why, why is this so easy to dim then? Well, th this one to, to, to kind of, again, put it in a non-engineering yeah. ter term, this one is hot cathodes. They're very, very large, not as large as filaments of an incandescent, but pretty large. And to create that fake dimming for a hot cathode, you have to turn them on and off where your eye cannot see it. Yeah. But that turning on and off definitely is not perfect. In this particular technology, the, the, the tube is so thin, we call it T1, where this one was actually a T4 thickness, yeah. that you don't need as much playing around with, with the, inst with, with the um, frequency of the on and off of the cathodes. And actually, this bulb doesn't have cathodes that are like filaments, they're thimbles. Okay. So they're pieces of metal, they can pass the current very, very easily through a lamp. And Marco, did you get this? Yeah. yeah. And therefore, dimming the lamp, all it takes is not really playing with the cathodes on and off, it's actually reducing the electricity to the cathodes which that is what dimming is all about. And this actually goes in a stage process, I noticed, as it dims. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All I mean, the way down to 5%. Wow. All, all the way down to 5%. And in this particular technology, dimming does not affect the life. You can dim it you know, with, a, with a dimmer sensor wow. a million times a day and it will steer, still remain at 18,000 hour, which is the rated life of this What does this retail for, this bulb? The, the, the retail for, for this bulb is about $17. $17. And, uh, and how many hours are you getting on this bulb? 18,000 18, hours. 18,000 hours, wow. So you're almost at LED territory now. You, you're getting for close. A quarter, and, and, and like for a little half than the price. Correct. Right? Correct. Available in multiple forms? Yeah, those particular ones are more miniaturized. Yeah. Less but same technology. Same exact Cold technology. 25,000 hours in that size. Yeah. And so perfect for chandeliers, chandeliers lamp replacements, restaurant, hotels, restaurant water, shades. Yep. yep. Okay. The good news about this technology is, again, the cost compared to LED. It's about a third of the cost, if not more. And it has a track record. It has history. This technology was created and brought to market in full speed in 2004. So we know how it behaves. We know the, the limitations, if any, to this technology. And uh, it's still going to be probably supported out there for the next couple of years until LED yeah. tech takes the, um, 
the next generation. Okay, speed. so talking about LED, let's talk about LED. You oh, guys have, yeah. um, you guys got the Turo Light, the Lightronics, and the Solus. Um, who wants to start? Well, well starting with the uh, Turo Light line of LEDs, it's a lot similar to what you're seeing now. Yeah. Uh, with the heat sinks and being very economically priced and affordable. So, okay, what makes your LEDs better than, okay, the ones you can find at a big box store? You know, because people come to me all the time, Mike, I can get an LED for $12. Okay, yeah. um, which I'm skeptical when I hear that because, yeah. you know, LEDs is new in the market. And if you want something quality, I know the price point, you know, is still up there, right? So what, what makes your LED so unique? It's a- uh, Or better, or- Well, it's, uh, part of it is the, the relationships we have with our factories and the, the, the continuing I'm putting it in the spot, I know. No, this yeah. is, the, uh, I, I, <laughs> this I, is I, not rehearsed, this is all live. I guess, I guess we have to put it in, in, in easier terms, right, yeah. for, for, for the end user. So one, one thing that really, I mean, the, the biggest question on the internet when you Google LEDs and how to yeah. buy LEDs, there's a big question is, there's 100 manufacturers of LEDs on the shelf or my friend or, or coming from overseas. Yeah, there's how lots of stuff, one? exactly. So to Even I'm confused. It, it, correct. So to narrow it down to, let's say, 10% confusion mm -hmm. is to choose products that have Energy Star. So Energy Star created criteria. I mean, people know that CFLs have Energy Star mm -hmm. and they're much more strict when it comes to LEDs. So there's a standard. It's a standard that okay. A, allows you to get incentives in, in many pro provinces mm -hmm. and areas and B, allows us as a manufacturer and the end user to at least remove 90% of, uh, I wouldn't say maybe garbage. Is I'll, the say right the, word, I'll say garbage. But, but, but 90% of the confusion out there. Mm -hmm. So now we're left with 10%, which is really made of the big three of a few companies like us, which it's really a couple of handfuls of real Energy Star proof products. And then within the Energy Star, now you can choose where your budget is. Unlike incandescent bulbs and halogen bulbs, you are paying more for the lumen. So yep. if you want a more affordable range, but still high-end LEDs, brand name Cree chips inside, yep. still Energy Star approved, you go with our Vivid Tour Light line. And then it jumps to the midline, which is electronics, which has- Okay, so this is more of a cost-effective LED quality still. Absolutely, right? <clears throat> absolutely. But more cost-effective. Correct. Okay, the second step, you got the electronics. Yeah, the electronics <clears throat> is basically, compared to the current heavy weight. I mean, this particular one is over, over 500 gra gram weight. Okay. This one is almost half the weight, and it also comes with a longer warranty than most in the market, five years. Well, okay, wait, okay, now you, you say weight. What does that mean to the end user? Well, to the end user, you'll see a lot of lamps, even in, in, in the retail shelf, that would have a warning, and I think it's coming as we speak, do not install in your recess can un unless you, s you get the specification from the manufacturer how much weight it can support. If you know recess cans, some recess cans can barely support They were never designed. Weight. So okay. if you put a 500 gram <clears throat> lamp where a halogen is 180 grams, then you have a good chance <laughs> that, that the whole yeah, thing will come falling down. Out. Yeah. So we were Because yeah, because those fixtures were designed 20 years ago. They weren't designed for LEDs. Yeah. And now everybody's swapping in LEDs. Yeah. But now, so you have to watch the weight as well. Absolutely. So this one is mainly designed for track heads. Okay. And so perfect for tracks. Perfect for tracks. Yeah. Perfect for recessed. And recess, then, recess lighting, okay, so like five inch, six inch pot, pot lights. Absolutely, okay. the weight is very, it's exactly like a halogen, so mm -hmm. you're, you're basically not risking anything else. And then if you want, and I think, funny enough, more than 90% of our customers are looking for the brightest available. Mm -hmm. Because like, these are expensive anyways, as we speak, if they already pay the money, they know that that means they're educated. And if they're educated, many of them want to get the most horsepower, the most watts. They want to get the highest lumens possible. Yeah. So currently that particular Solace line is, is the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. Okay. It gets all the way to 1,350 this. lumens. 1,350 lumens on this thing? Correct. Which is about 30 to 40 percent brightest than the brightest in the world. So, so what's the wattage on this LED right now? This particular version is 21 watts. And this is replacing like a 90 watt? Even more a little bit. You're, you're now exceeding a 90 watt. You're closer to 100 plus wow. with 1,350 lumens. By default, it's dimmable. And this is the lightest bulb in the world as well. It actually is lighter than a halogen. Wow. Now, it's all thanks to our, what we call, active cooling. Active cooling, actually, to put it in simple terms, is a built-in fan. Mm -hmm. The fan is a very complex fan. There's lots of, of what we call white papers on our website, too, if somebody wants to read more about it. But it's a fan with, with, built on magnets, so there's no access point, there's okay. no axle. There's nothing to break down. Nothing to break down. It actually can resist dust because everything is covered. Okay, I'm learning here today. Go yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the fan itself can outlast the lamp. It's a 100,000 hour fan. And it's such a unique design fan that even putting 60 lamps in this one room here won't exceed 17 dB in noise, which is less than your air ventilation or yeah. HVAC or your computer system that you have on the side there. So it's the quietest technology, but it's also patented. Right. Well, there's no heat coming out of the front, but there's a lot of heat going Straight in the back. 
a, a lot Absolutely. of heat, right? Okay. So you're saying that's why the fan plays a vital role. Yes, yes. And, and this, this particular, the other unique thing about the circuit, it has a, a special thermal detection system that can actually understand if there's too much heat in the area. Let's say you have it beside a heat vent, or let's yeah. say you put it in a closed fixture. So what, what does it do? It actually detects the heat level above 70 degrees, yeah. which is another uh, good feature because most LED lamps are rated to 45 degrees max. This one's actually rated to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay. But it starts dimming itself down. And then if you have a store, you know, with 100 of them on track heads, you see them, then they're starting to dim down. And initially, if you don't have an ex experience, you think they're breaking down on you. Yeah. But, but then they're actually just adjusting. They're adjusting to let you know that something is going on. There. So it's like, a, it's like a little computer it's, in it's this thing. Absolutely, a mini computer wow. with all the components, definitely. This is okay, this is a really impressive ball. I didn't even know. So I know Solace was good, but I didn't know it was. So you would be able to uh, get a, a much higher lumen maintenance out of a product you like that. You need 1,300 lumens on this? Wow. But you're going to maintain that throughout its lamp life, more so than with uh, something with a larger heat sink like that, where yeah. the dust will collect on the product and just Correct. accumulate, and you're just going to see the lumen depreciation. You're killing it. And then, how, how many hours is this lasting? This is actually designed for LM70 50,000 hours. LM means the Energy Star rating. So the, new, so, so the new rating, which is a test rating for LEDs. That's the latest okay. test, test rating from Energy yeah. Star. Yeah, LM70? LM70, yeah, Energy Star has about three stages. Yeah. LM70 is your initial, what am I applying for? I'm applying mm -hmm. for 50,000 hours. So this is a 50,000 hour bulb? Rated, correct. Yeah. We've passed LM79, which means that we've passed the first 6,000 hour test that confirms the lumen maintenance is within the spec, and now we have to go and take, there's no speeding of the test, so you have to wait three years or more. So a consumer years. looking for a bulb that has this testing, is it like is there like a sticker on the box? Yes. Okay. What what does the sticker look like? So, Just so, so we know. Once you pass the first six thousand hour test, yeah, you're eligible to put the Energy Star logo. Now, this particular bulb is should be listed in the Energy Star website within a month from now, mm -hmm. because just now it fulfilled the first what we call phase one LM seventy nine, and now yeah. it's going to an LM eighty test, which which is getting very technical. But they can always get. So the they're finally getting a standard for LEDs. Absolutely. Right? So and it's going to limit, like you said, ninety percent of that of the. Yeah. Not the garbage, but we'll say garbage for now. In the market, right? <laughs> the so and, in the mid range. Yeah, and leave some quality, right? So consumers have a better understanding of this absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. And and again, when when somebody gives a warranty on a lamp, whether it's three years or five years, it's not just about the warranty of on and off. It's sustainability. So you want yeah. to make sure that you have all those lumens, and you still are guaranteed the lumen levels coming out of the bulb a year or two years down the road. Yeah. But if you're going to do LED, you might as well do proper. And I think you guys have nailed it. Marco's uh, you, giving man. us the sign. Marco, how many minutes are we at? 13. 13 minutes. Okay, we're going to leave one last, we're going to leave it off with one last one. And this is all on Dave. Dave, because <laughs> this is the bulb he tells me about every single day. Why it's so vital, um, what's so important about it, tell us about this bulb. Quick story, it's uh, flat panel technology, so you're able to get it sufficiently. And does it lift it up? 100% uh, light efficacy out of the bulb. What that means is you're able to repl uh, replace a 23 watt part yeah. of the CFL, mm -hmm. with 15 watts only. 30, this is a 15 watt bulb. Yeah, it's okay. 30,000 hours. It's dimmable. It's water resistant. You can pressure wash this thing. Yeah. And okay, wait, so who's using this bulb? Where's it going? Uh, one of the largest users right now is actually the chicken farm industry. The agriculture industry. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go on. Why? They were looking for an energy efficient solution for A19s because they like to simulate uh, an <laughs> eight day cycle. Okay. Uh, long story short, they just, you know, they were using old A19s. They would, uh, some places would actually use 100 watts and go in and switch them down to 60, and, but... They replace all of them with this. Yeah. And this is a flat panel, cold capital. Uh, actually, Are we not talking... It's cathodeless. It's cathodeless. This is actually a fusion of CFL fused on a board, on yeah. a flat board, and induction, which induction is a different technology we don't have here, but it means no cathodes. It actually uses electromagnetic energy to excite the gas, which allows it long life, no degradation of, of, of any filaments. And the good news about it, it's still a third of the cost of LED, but we should still not confuse them with LEDs because of the light, um, light generation coming out of it. It's a very linear light source. Linear meaning? Linear meaning it's more for general areas. But so, so track lights, another application, For sure. right? People want to dim it like gyms and everything, because you know, you walk into gyms, they have a whole bunch of track heads. Yeah, this is a perfect application. What does this bulb retail for? 25 bucks. 25 bucks, fully dimmable. Fully dimmable. 30,000 uh, hours. 30,000 hours. And uh, so a good quality LED is lasting 50,000 hours. This is giving you 30,000 hours. Correct. So if I was changing, for instance, I know I had a whole bunch of track heads, I would opt for this over LED. 
Uh, well, there's definitely a catch to that because LEDs provide a much narrow degree of beam. Mm -hmm. So if you put on a track head, you know, 18 feet or 20 feet. But for general feet, lighting, though. For general lighting, this is the most ideal. Yeah, that, that's why I was going. That's what I meant. Absolutely. For general lighting, Absolutely. yeah. Yes. Obviously, if you want better color renditions, um, you know, obviously if it's indoor uh, designers, stuff like that, you're focusing on the LEDs and, I don't know, the, sol the Solus is pretty much... It's it's the best. it's you know it's it's its own weight champion in in, in the ring right now. Yeah. I don't think anybody is coming close over the next couple of years as far as we see. And I think that one thing to realize in LED to kind of cut it short when it comes to cost, it's all about not the dollar for the LED itself. Mm -hmm. It's a dollar per lumen. And I believe in the dollar per lumen race, we are the lowest cost as well in North yeah. America. And that is what we're after. So even though the bulb is more because of the high lumens. It is the lowest per lumen cost yeah. that we're trying to achieve here. My, my brain is, is full today. I, you yeah. guys taught yeah. me about cold capital, hot capital, LEDs, uh, flat panel, induction lighting. Um, sure. We're going to have it all on our newsletter. Subscribe at vonelectrical.ca. Left-hand corner, just put your email in there, and um, we'll have this newsletter actually going out next week. So, guys, thanks for coming. Dave? Thank you very much for having us. Ed, Very thanks nice for coming. Experience. Thank you. I'm Mike from Vaughn TV. Make sure you guys subscribe for the latest information. Um, like I said, these are done. As of today, these are finished. We're going cold <laughs> cathedral. We're going LEDs. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mike. Ciao.